and that which is missing is the very beginning and this explanation is just in the beginning the scripture is already in progress these are just the pages from the scriptures of life can we say that we are now beginning to speak on bhakti can we say that we are now beginning to speak on love if i am beginning to speak on something which is not part of your being you cannot grow love has always been part of your being but you have known it in different forms you have known it sometimes as the function of the body sometimes you have known as emotions but yet still you have not known it in its true essence love is the fragrance of meditation when meditation begins love overflows like compassion the moment meditation happens compassion begins to flow then it makes no distinction to whom it is flowing towards irrespective of whosoever comes in front of you it flows a flower never makes a distinction that i will not give its my breeze to this particular person flower never says that my beauty is restricted only to the people to the house where it is growing its beauty spreads to the unknown and unknowable such is the nature of bhakti and such is the nature of love and this happens only when it goes beyond the cogmire of body mind and intellect love is the fragrance of meditation love and meditation are the two wings that take you to soar in infinite sky you cannot walk on one feet a bird cannot fly on one wing the two wings are needed meditation dhyan and prem the love are two wings or two shores of life within which life flows the scripture of love is already in progress you have now reached now the explanation comes for you and this will continue until you attain to fruition and the description of love bhakti will continue until each and every individual each and every being attains to that matters not whether it happens now or tomorrow in the scheme of existence time is irrelevant beyond time and space the explanation of bhakti devotion continues these are the pages from the scriptures of life this is not for those who are not yet free from the realm of the body and all that concerns the body this is not for those who are not yet free of the body and the mind the sage leaves these two realms right there and therefore begins these sutras if you are not yet free from lust and all that relates to the body and also all that relates to the mind the positive emotions the negative you are not yet ready for the sutras of love you are not yet ready to enter the realm of devotion you are not ready to enter in your inner sanctum the sanctum where you can encounter your inner space the inner space that is your 
being that is your soul, the replica of the ultimate, the unknown and unknowable. If love is still interests you, then you are not ready for these sutras. If still the search for God has not yet begun. But this is the journey. Journey continues. That's why masters have never rejected the realm of the body, the realm of the mind. All that relates to the body, the lust, the desire has not been rejected. One day out of the desire, out of the seed, the seedling comes into existence. Once the seed is properly planted and nourished and nurtured, in the barren soils of thy inner sanctum, oft do I use the manure of compassion. In the barren soils of thy inner sanctum, oft do I use the manure of compassion. Then one day seed of awakening I sow. With the rain of thy infinite bliss, the seed shall sprout. And then, and then reckoning shall reap the fruits at the dawn of new awakening. Never allow the journey to come to a stop. The aspiration should be to go beyond body. Aspiration should be to go beyond mind. And all that concerns the mind and the body, one day you will attain to a state when there is no more desire. One day you will attain to the state that the seed has become a tree now. New foliage comes on it. A new life, a new beginning. Then the journey continues. What is more important is that the journey continues. If love still interests you, allow to go beyond love. And then one day you will be ready for these sutras of love, the secrets, the principles of love. Still the search for God is not yet begun. Still you are either the body or the mind. Then you cannot understand these sutras. I am not interested in your words that you want to know the secrets. It matters not when you say that I want to know these secrets. I can see all that is going on within you. This does not mean that these sutras are for the older ones who have almost finished the prime of their life. These sutras are for the one who has reached the last realm in the process of transformation. Bhakti is the ultimate. Bhakti is for those who are free from the realm of the body and the mind. The West thought these descriptions to be incomplete. It appears the beginning is missing. And the East thinks these sutras are for the older people. And in that both East and the West have missed the essence of these sutras. There is a difference between an old and a mature person. Even a younger person can be a mature enough to understand these subtle sutras of bhakti. 